partner for marketing. I'm in charge of operations for the company. We are a digital place-based media network. Um, we, or our origins are in Atlanta, Georgia, and we specialize in the niche of office buildings, high-end professional office buildings. And we started by putting uh, signage, both digital and traditional, in garage spaces, but it's grown into something really interesting from that. And we came to the DSE to learn as much as we could from as many different vendors um, as we had access to to just make sure that we knew what all the best solutions were for our clients. It's been fabulous, it's been absolutely fabulous. Everyone here is so generous with their time and with the information. Uh, I've never been to an exhibit of, of any type in any industry that offered so much education. The classes, the seminars, the free workshops, uh, you just, I've never seen anything like it. And we've attended as many as I, or I've as attended as many as my little brain will hold. Like I said, we're, we started in parking garages, um, structures that are attached to high-end office buildings, and we use digital signage there to communicate with their customers, uh, the people that, that use those garages either on a daily basis because they work in the office or because it's a mixed-use development they're coming to do retail uh, shopping. Uh, so we use it for wayfinding, we use it to communicate with the people that are there, and we're also, there's a component of advertising that creates the revenue that actually pays, offsets the cost of the equipment. It's hard to pinpoint just one. My favorite was uh, a gentleman that did how to do, how to create content. Uh, it, was, it was this morning, he did a fabulous job. My background is from agencies, worked at all of the big agencies for years and years and years, so that was kind of like going back to my roots. Um, and it's, it wasn't new information to me, but this, the new application of it and all of the different things you have to think about when you're moving into the digital signage arena. Um, some of them are not obvious. You, you can't just take a TV commercial and put it on a digital sign and expect it to work. You can't just take a print ad and put it on a digital sign. You really have to think differently about the creative that you put on a digital sign. So while that was kind of an advertising 101 refresher for me, it was there was so much value in just putting on a different hat and thinking about it differently. And, and in advertising, you're always taught to think about the end user, who's going to see it and how they're going to use it. Now I understand a lot more about how to communicate with that person. There's a lot of camaraderie as opposed to a lot of uh, competition, which is nice. Um, everybody seems to have the same problems, um, and that's getting content, getting relevant content, uh, keeping it fresh, so the whole management, where you know, content development, managing the content, and then from the buying side of it, it's valuing it, having the research behind it to evaluate it, and uh, where to find the inventory. There's a lot of, it's very fragmented right now. It's hard not to fall in love with a lot of the digital signs that you see out here. There's just, there's beautiful, beautiful stuff out there. Um, I've really am drawn to, um, and not necessarily the science itself, but the, the creative delivery of some, on some of the Samsung products where they used very still motion. Um, the, the, there's one really hot guy that's literally smoking. Uh, so it's still, but there's smoke coming off his shoulder. So you get the motion that catches the eye. So it's very creative use of uh, the space there. There was another woman who was holding uh, diamonds in her hands and little things sparkled around her. So it was still, but there was enough motion to catch the eye. So the creative application there was very intriguing. The digital signage industry has arrived.